Hey guys, Nick here with Picture This, and today we're going to be talking about the Canon EOS Rebel T2i again. This time uh, we got a lens right here, uh, 50mm f1.8, uh, we'll get into that a little bit later. And yeah, I'm going to be breaking down some of the photo specs, uh, my opinions on video, and anything else I have to say about the camera. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the camera to start off. So, it is a DSLR, obviously, because it's a little bit bigger, so you can that's kind of like a dead giveaway. It has an APS-C 18 megapixel sensor, so again, not full frame. It has an EF mount, it's a Canon camera. This camera came out in 2010, yes, 2010 a year after the Nikon D3000, which came out in 2009. In terms of the viewfinder, it has nine focusing points arranged in like a diamond going on here and then one in the center. It seems to be pretty okay so far. The build is solid even though it's uh, plastic. It does have like a little sensor right here. I don't know if it'll like focus. But yeah, there's like a little sensor right there that when you put your eye up to it, it turns off the display, so I mean that's pretty nice. It does have a built-in flash. Wants to pop open. There you go. It has a built-in flash, so I mean that's kind of nice. It works with focus. Yeah, works with focus. <laughs> so yeah, that's a little bit about like the uh, physical aspect and um, physical properties, if you will, of the camera. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about the photo aspect of the camera and what I thought as I was going along. So uh, while I'm talking or after I'm talking, I believe there's going to be like photos going across the screen and I'll talk a little bit about those. So it does have an 18 megapixel sensor, so it's pretty solid in photos. The photos that I took were pretty crisp. The depth of field was nice, but I'm also using an f1.8 lens, keep in mind. They're definitely quite crisp, a little bit more crisp than I was expecting since the camera is almost 10 years old here. It even uh, competes with the uh, Samsung NX3300M that I'm filming on right now. I feel like the photos are pretty comparable. One thing I don't like is when I go into a live view here. Um, hold on, hold on. Yeah, so I'll flip this bad boy into live view and then it's if it focuses on the camera, which it, I think it did. See, look, it's like taking forever to focus on me right now. And it like stutters and it goes da -da 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 -da. I don't know if that's an issue with the camera because I don't, I don't think it's an issue with the lens because this lens is fairly new and I paid a little bit of a pretty penny for it. I mean, I don't really have a huge budget to spend on lenses, so I guess it was expensive for me. I think I paid... 95 99 I think on eBay for it. So I felt like that was pretty reasonable Now I think let's just get straight into the video. So uh, in terms of video this camera does Okay, the autofocus is a little iffy it takes a little bit and then um, When you're recording you can definitely hear it. It does shoot all the way up to 1080 30 which is kind of nice it also shoots um, 1080 24 720p at 120 frames per second. I believe 720-60 So it's not bad for video, but it's okay. So now I'm gonna put a little bit of some sample video up so you guys can kind of see it for yourself. And then um, also take a listen for the motor because you're gonna hear the motor go as it focuses. And that could be a draw if you're going to be using the audio from the camera or if you're not. So this is the video test of the uh, Canon Rebel T2i here 
as you can see it's kind of like hunting and then in a second I'll go silent and you can kind of hear the motor as it's focusing right now I have the focus kind of held down and then if I went to like focus on this link amiibo right here okay you couldn't really hear it then um, I'm trying to think of something else I could focus on so yeah we'll get like real close so it's like out of focus and then if you just listen to it you can hear it yeah it, if you heard it, it went yeah it is a little bit of a drawback but it's not horrible I definitely don't think I'm gonna be using this for video anytime soon though so in terms of video it was okay as you saw the focus was okay it didn't really kind of like stay on the subject and I don't know if you heard but like the motor of it trying to like focus that was pretty annoying definitely I'm gonna stick with this camera for video because it has like the face tracking so that definitely helps keep me in focus when I'm recording and yeah it just has better autofocus overall than uh, this camera right there in terms of low light performance it depends on what lens you use I used the Canon 50mm f1.8 STM right here it does pretty well in low light the only thing is you have to bump your shutter speed uh, down to like 1 60th and probably below especially in like really dark lighting conditions De definitely have a tripod if you're gonna be doing that type of stuff otherwise it performed okay and um, a couple images are gonna go up like here probably am I gonna be switching to it probably not I mean the video is good once it like pulls focus properly and everything kind of works autofocus for video is definitely not something I would use um, for stills it's definitely okay the live view focus as I said takes a little long to kind of grab focus in the viewfinder it's perfectly fine um, it grabs focus pretty quick I'll show you right now if you hear the beep I'll like get real close so you can kind of hear it Yeah. So as you heard, uh, there's not really much of a delay, which is good because it would be pretty disappointing if it was really bad in live view and it was bad in the viewfinder, but thankfully it's not. And I think that's it for my opinions and now I'm going to cut and here's a little bit more video from the T2i. So that about rounds out this review. If you guys liked this series of Canon Rebel T2i videos, drop a like below. If you haven't seen them yet, click the card up here. And if you want me to keep doing this stuff, doing reviews of like older cameras and other um, camera technology and gear that I have, make sure to subscribe, drop a comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.